First tonight, praise for Donald Trump's North Korea deal, how it could now bring comfort to the families of missing Australian soldiers. Tasmanian women's access to surgical abortions dominates Parliament. The Prime Minister to make a national apology to child sexual abuse survivors. Why police have resumed their search for missing boy William Tyrrell. And the cause of death revealed for 12 penguins in the state's north. Live from our Tasmanian headquarters, this is Southern Cross News with Joe Palmer. Good evening everyone and welcome to Southern Cross News. There is praise tonight for Donald Trump over what no other leader has been able to do, drag Kim Jong-un to the negotiating table. But now that diplomatic experts have looked at the detail, there is some criticism over concessions America has made in return for the dismantling of North Korea's nuclear weapons. Flying out with a fist pump, from a meeting Donald Trump will be remembered for. Mike Amor is in Singapore tonight and joins us now. Good evening, Mike. The President's been on Air Force One to Washington. Will he be hitting the phones to world leaders while on board? This is a good deal, despite there being no timeline for change. Tonight, his Secretary of State is meeting with South Korean and Japanese leaders, breaking down what an end to the war games means. Joe. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Malcolm Turnbull says Donald Trump's unconventional approach is a gamble worth taking. With all previous attempts at securing peace on the Korean Peninsula failing, the Prime Minister says the US President is giving his own brand of deal-making a red-hot go. Welcoming the Solomons Prime Minister this morning with some friendly fire before praising Donald Trump's attempt to stop a greater explosive threat from North Korea. The Labor Party has tonight failed to prompt the government into immediately resourcing pregnancy terminations in the public health system. Instead, the health minister will now consult with medical professionals about providing the procedure in both the public and private systems, reporting back next month. A highly emotional debate on the most sensitive of issues. Tasmanian women's access to surgical pregnancy terminations discussed in Parliament today. Police are promising to leave no stone unturned during a new search for clues into William Tyrrell's disappearance. The three-year-old vanished from his grandmother's home on the New South Wales mid-north coast almost four years ago. Police came armed not with guns, but shovels and rakes. For the latest search, they hope will solve the mystery. Twelve little penguins found dead in a garbage bin at Low Head last week were most likely killed by dogs. Autopsies of the carcasses were conducted at Mount Pleasant Laboratories and dog owners in the area are now being spoken to. The Department of Primary Industries says wildlife rangers are also working with the Georgetown Council to conduct patrols in the coastal reserve. Anyone with information about the incident is urged to contact Crime Stoppers. Stay with us, still to come in our broadcast tonight, why two of the biggest names in music are bluing about a basement. Northern Tasmania prepares to roll out Uber and the government's surplus promise ahead of tomorrow's budget release. Welcome back. A Tasmanian man accused of trafficking quantities of drugs into state has just landed in Hobart after being extradited from the Gold Coast. It's expected he'll be charged with a series of drug and firearm charges tonight. Our reporter Louise Hedger joins us now live from the Hobart airport. Good evening, Louise. What's been happening? Well, Joe, that's right. Mitchell John Campbell has just arrived to Tasmania following his extradition from Queensland. He was flanked by two detectives as they led him to a waiting police vehicle here at Hobart Airport. And Joe, the man formerly from Howrah, is also facing firearms charges. He is expected to be charged tonight and he'll remain in custody and face Hobart Magistrates Court tomorrow. 
Okay, thank you very much for that, Louise. Louise Hedge, you're joining us there from the Hobart Airport. The Treasurer has today revealed that tomorrow's budget will be $75 million in surplus. The government also announcing surpluses will continue across the forward estimates and there will be no net debt. Tom Cooper will be joining us with a look at the day's sport news a little later in our bulletin with a young Tasmanian soccer star given the opportunity of a lifetime thanks to A-League club Sydney. The state's Siebel sides refreshed and raring to go for the back half of the season. And the Aussie cricket team preparing for a hostile reception from English fans with the one day series about to get underway. Those stories with Tom a little later in our bulletin, but first after the break we'll take a look at the day's headlines. And then a tax office warning on dodgy clothing claims. And full steam ahead to transform Launceston's North Bank. Welcome back everyone. These are some of the stories making headlines tonight. The Labor Party has failed to prompt the government to immediately resourcing pregnancy terminations in the public health system. The Prime Minister has praised the North Korea nuclear weapons deal. The search resumes for missing boy William Tyrrell. And 12 penguins found dead in a garbage bin at Low Head, most likely killed by dogs. A development application to relocate the entire University of Tasmania's Newnham campus to Inveresk will be submitted to the Launceston City Council by the end of the year. It comes as work up the river at North Bank ramps up. Like a jigsaw piece being lifted into place, this is the new walk and cycleway which will soon link Seaport with North Bank. Let's take a look at the day's business and finance news now with thanks to TASPLAN, your local super fund. Weakness among the big banks and major miners has helped pull back the Australian share market ahead of a key decision by the US Federal Reserve on interest rates. The ASX 200 index has dropped by 30.9 points. A short time ago, the Australian dollar was trading at 75.7 US cents and 108.03 New Zealand cents. Time to talk sport with Tom Cooper. Good evening, Tom. The Socceroos refuse to back down in Russia. Good evening, Joe. The boys are talking tough ahead of their World Cup clash with France. We'll have more on that after the break. Also coming up, one of the biggest shows of mateship you're ever likely to see in sport and star tornado Lauren Mansfield racing clock to be fit after earning herself a national call-up. Welcome back. The Socceroos believe the bigger the challenge, the better they play and challenges don't come much bigger than their World Cup opener. The Aussies admit France have better players but say they're a better team. This is where Australia will open their World Cup campaign this weekend. Kazan Arena where they'll take on a French side packed with international football superstars. Good luck to him. To AFL and Richmond superstar Dustin Martin has shaken off his calf injury, completing his first main session since returning from New Zealand. But one key tiger remains in doubt for Sunday's blockbuster clash against the Cats. Marking, bending over, stretching and importantly running, Martin showed few signs of the calf issue that kept him out against Port Adelaide. To basketball and the Hobart Chargers women's side will finally have their big three together on the court for Friday night's crucial clash with Melbourne as the men look to bustle their way into top spot, a top two spot on the Siebel ladder while the Tornadoes are mentally preparing for a tough back end of the season. Bring in Clara Wisher for the first time this season. The former WNBL player joins Brit Smart and Kathleen Shear for Friday night's clash with Melbourne. Oh, Joe, I think I got a little bit of dust in my eye. That's a nice way to finish sport. <laughs> it is indeed. Thanks so much for that, Tom. Well, coming up next, Peter Murphy will join us with the weather.
Good evening, Hobart and Burnie, 14 degrees today. Launceston and Devonport, 13, as a cold front moves through. Many centres shared the top, though. King Island, Friendly Beaches, Fingal, Campania and Bushy Park, all on 15. Flinders Island and Strawn, 14 today. Low Head and Ooze, 13. Lyawini, a top of 7. Patches of cloud did move over the state as a frontal band started to make its presence felt. Uh, some cold air is also moving into the west on the big picture over the Bight and the Southern Ocean behind that front. Active thunderstorms are over inland Northern Territory and central parts of Queensland, a large portion of WA and the far north mostly clear. Tomorrow, Tasmania under the influence of a northwesterly airstream with a pair of troughs over the Tasman Sea. A low to the west is bringing a cold front towards South Australia. The winds nor northwesterly are 20 to 30 knots, but reaching 30 to 40 knots over the north in the evening swells to three and a half metres in western waters. A gale warning's on from Sandy Cape to Flinders Island. A strong wind warning for remaining waters apart from the southeast coast. Into tomorrow we go and for Hobart, a possible late shower, 4 overnight, 13 the top, 13 also for Signet, 12 the high for New Norfolk with a late shower. Launceston showers increasing, 13 the maximum, 13 also for Devonport, showers over Campbelltown and 11 degrees. Burnie, showers and a possible storm, 13 the maximum, 12 for Strawn, maybe a storm as well, and for Smithton, 13 degrees there. And for St Helens, showers increasing later, 14, 14 for Swansea, Fingal, bit of fog to start the day like it did today and a top of 12 degrees. On Friday, showers contracting to the north, west and far south in the afternoon. A dusting of snow possible. Showers on Saturday mainly over the west, south and central areas. And on Sunday, an early shower over the Bass Strait Islands. Showers over the south, extending up to the east later. Further north, partly cloudy in Perth. Showers increasing over Adelaide. A shower also for Melbourne and Canberra. A sunny 19 in Sydney and partly cloudy over Brisbane. Conditions clear in Hobart at the moment, 7 degrees, Launceston 9 and cloudy, Devonport currently cloudy and 12 degrees. Joe, that's all I have for you tonight. All right, thanks so much for that, Murph, and that's all from the team. Have a great evening. See you a little bit later. Bye-bye.